Welcome back. Uh, part four in the series of the course of Fort Reconstruction. The other videos we took removed rust, welded, formed metal. Now we're basically done with all that. Here's the proof of it. Now we're going to take and make it look nice. So stay tuned. Okay, next we're going to apply this Bondo glass. It's short strand fiberglass filler. I don't really like the long strands. Actually, I bought this at Walmart, but Advance AutoZone sells it. Walmart probably is the cheapest on us. And we just want to take a putty knife here, take some out of the can, put it here on a piece of cardboard. Then it's good enough to start. And take this two part, our hardener. Probably about. Look at that, man. That probably is a little bit more than I needed. And then we're going to take the putty knife and just mix this so it's nice and uniform. And then at this stage, take our applicator, scrape the putty knife off, and then finish mixing it just like this. And this sort of turns like a reddish brown color. And you want to just take and apply that over where the metal was welded together. Nice smooth in one direction if you can. The smoother you put it on the merrier, but you can sand it off. But after you learn to put it on. Oh, and I want to show you here, but when you get between applications, just take a razor blade and scrape it off there. You don't want hardener back in the can, definitely, or you'll ruin the can. And same with your applicator, just take the razor. I took on this applicator, this was actually one large one, and I cut it in half and made two, and then you can rotate around between and switch back and forth, let one harden up, because once it's hardened, it slides right off easy. Alrighty, it's all applied. Give you a little bit here what we have. And we're going to take and sand this off now. Alrighty, for sanding this off, I'm going to use a combination of this six inch dual action palm sander and this little guy for tighter areas. This cordless 12 volt multifunction oscillating tool with a sanding disc. Fairly self explanatory. And as you can see here, I'm starting to get down to the bare metal. You don't want to, like I say, go, that's a good time to move on. So a combination of that and these other two, like this multifunction oscillating tool, in these tighter areas, of the dust off, you can get up real nice and tight. repeat that and if all else fails a piece of sandpaper and manually sanding is the third choice. I'm going to sand this all off and then we're going to put our next layer. Have the first layer the door of glass sanded off. Just a little example. It don't smooth out real smooth. I mean you're going to have like areas like in here. Like I said this is a good base, a good found building block. But that's sort of the results you're looking for. Then the next step will be applying just the run of the mill, what everybody's more used to, the body filler. And that's going to start really making it look nice. But like I say, this gives a good base before going to that. If you want to skip this step, you can, but it does, again, it makes a good firm building block there to apply the body filler over. Shot at the back edge with it sanded. This was a little more time consuming because of all the tight quarters working in. But 
that is the fiberglass applied we're going to do next step okay nice fresh clean rags and we're just going to repeat what we did before we put the fiberglass the short strand on and just take and Swish back and forth there between them like say one apply it and the other one dry it off and repeat that and You can see how much cleaner that came And do that over everywhere. We're going to be applying Okay, body filler time now one thing I'm going to do different on this instead of the hard plastic Applicator I'm going to use this rubber one so that's like say puts it on way smoother and same deal they can just put a blob of the filler on the cardboard, our hardener. Now that needs shook up, which I forgot to do. That you don't want. Now, yeah, there we go. That's actually too much. And then just mix it. And then just as we did with the fiber, you were going to find this spreads a lot easier than the short strand fiberglass filler and then just do that over where we just did the fiberglass filler. I'm done applying the body filler to the front side. Just to give you a real quick view. And then I'm going to turn it over and apply on the rear of it and our back side with the filler on. Now I'm going to take and turn this over and sand it off. It's all the same as I showed you with the fiberglass. Not completed yet with sanding, but I started at the rear where it was more difficult to access, but this is the result you're sort of looking for. There's still some little nicks and that in it, which isn't, especially on this, that bad, which we're gonna show you if you wanna take it one step more what going to do I'm going to this actually definitely is more than good enough in most applications and this would be but since this is a training video we're going to show the final step on this we're all sanded off and here comes that one more step this is fully optional with this glazing putty it's called USC icing there is different brands of it little difference on this over the other filters well it comes in a tube which in my opinion makes it easier to work with we're just going to take put a little bit on the cardboard and it mixes just like the others a little of our hardener and on this since this is our finish definitely am starting off with the new applicator and we're just going to stir this up first with the putty knife That's the other than which I think makes it easier. You don't have to dip it out of the can. It's the same as the fiberglass or the body filler, the second step. And clean our putty knife off. And then just start applying it. And you will notice that this goes on smoother than all the above, and it will sound way simpler. The glazing filler applied over it. I'm going to take and the first step just sanded like the others, but instead of 80 grip paper, I'm going to use 120. I want to use a little finer, don't want as many scratches from now on. You take and do that, just same deal, work a dual action sander, sanding with hand, whatever the situation is needed to uh, access. Ready, I finished sanding. Time consuming with all the edges on the back. Front went nice because it's nice open space. And there's a shot of the rear sanded. And around the front, the finished. I'm going to take, which we have many times in this video. Use the wax and grease remover, wipe it down, and then we are going to apply primer. Okay, now we're going to apply a light layer of primer. Take and be sure to take your can up good, which I already had before this. But 
and then just uh, like we did earlier with the bare metal just nice coat over and just repeat that over all the primer I mean uh, bare metal and surfaces where the body filler exists and we'll show you the completed primer ring there is the front primer I'm going to turn it around and do the rear of it same principle except with the more corners and that to work around now this is as far as I'm going on this until it's reinstalled back in the van because till I weld it back in there's no need to make it look real nice by painting and that now you're just going to ruin your work all right the completed core support like I say we took a rusted up mess and made a better than new probably core support out of it and a little shove from around the rear of it I already look for the video coming up on the reassembly in the van. I have one posted in this series if you haven't already checked it out on when I removed the core support. Yeah, I hope you found this informative, helpful. Any questions, please include them in the comments below. Check out the other videos in this series of the removal of the core support and the various steps to get us where it is at. And please hit that subscribe button. And thank you again. Have a great day.